So one of the things that we want to be scouting for in the field right now, especially in our late planted corn, is, is to make sure we finish, we need that grain fill, is definitely for aphid pressure. So while we're making our last pass of our fungicides out there, we want to make sure that there's no aphids in the field. Um, the biggest predator, or one of the biggest predators to aphids is fungus. Uh, so by spraying a fungicide, we eliminate their predators. And if we had even a small population out there, we have the chance of that population um, booming. Even going back now to this field here that's already been sprayed with a fungicide a while back, we want to be double checking our, we didn't put an insecticide in it, we want to be double checking our aphid infestations. So when those aphids wax, um, the upper uh, leaves of that canopy, uh, they're going to affect our grain fill. This year with our late planted corn, depending on how we finish out the fall, every day or every ounce of, of grain fill that we can get, sunlight that we can capture is going to be pretty big. So we want to make sure that we stay on top of it. Normally we're done scouting for aphids probably by this time of the year, uh, but that's definitely not the case in, in what we're in here now, some of our June planted corn, early June planted corn. Uh, so when we look at that, here we're finding aphids in here at ear leaf level. We're not as concerned with the aphids down here at the ear leaf, but we will be concerned as they move to the top of the plant. So we want to make sure that if we're finding them out there, if we were getting ready to spray a fungicide on this field and we found aphids anywhere, I'm probably going to throw in an insecticide. If I'm coming back after the fact, like now, I'm going to watch these aphid infestations. How bad are they? How many plants are they on? And where are they at in the canopy? As they move up to the top toward the tassels, I'm going to be more tempted to spray once I reach somewhere in that 10% threshold. So 10% of my plants that are infected. We can see the top of this plant actually here. We're starting to wax up these upper leaves. Once they wax those up, we're not getting them back. So we can see the damage that they're doing up here. That's going to affect the grain fill. And grain fill, like I said, is going to be at a premium this year. Um, so we need to protect those plants. So we hit 10% threshold there. We're probably going to pull the trigger and spray. Um, as far as how far in the season, I would probably hold that recommendation up until about early dent. So when we shuck off these here's here, we're not dented yet. Um, we're, we're getting closer, um, but we're definitely in that, that fill stage where we still need to protect uh, everything that's going into this ear. So we'd want to watch that as we go forward uh, and pull the trigger accordingly. Once we get to a, a early dent stage, then there's not as much fill left. Um, the, the chances of those, those aphid infestations being able to cause a sizable uh, yield decrease start to limit somewhat of what we could get in a response back from our insecticide application.